So let's talk to Hobby a little bit. What what are some yeah. cars that you all that you are looking at or, or that you want to add to your PC or your personal collection or some things that you already have in your personal collection that you want to share? Yeah. I mean, I'm just I'm really big on just UFC cards right now. Um obviously there's stuff that I still want. Uh, my ultimate grail and my chase is still a Kobe's credentials, you know, it's mm -hmm. my favorite Kobe rookie card. If I can't get that, because I know that is a pretty penny, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll probably go for a star date, a Kobe star date, EX star date. A great so, card as well. Yeah. yeah, that that would be a grail of mine. Uh, for LT, I really just want like a like a really a gold refractor possibly, uh, or some sort of numbered refractor of LT. Um, I prefer an BGS ten, but I know that's like asking a lot. So. Mm -hmm. Those are just grails, and I know it's going to take a lifelong time for me to get them, but those are a couple that I want. But personally right now, what I'm aiming for is just – I just like UFC a lot right now. It's fun. Great car, it says. Yeah, I'm really big on yeah. soccer. I'm really big on soccer and FD. I like yeah, – you know, it's crazy because – um, yeah. yeah, it's just it's – just, um, I just think they're really undervalued, and anytime I, I see – that and I, i've always liked the sport i don't know a whole lot about it I, i'm very still <laughs> in kind of my beginning stages of it but i just learned i just started loving them i, I don't even know so I, i'm really big on um like phil foden i'm really big on kama vinga jude um uh, harry kane i think there's a lot of talent and then i and i really truly believe that we're gonna see eventually someday that trend, um, you, the, the United States really adopts soccer in a fashion that we haven't seen. I really, truly believe that. Why we're so late to the party, I have no idea. Um, but I think the World Cup coming up could propel that easily. Um, and if I'm looking at investing in kind of, uh, you know, cheaper cards right now, I think it would probably be soccer. Now we usually, I usually get Will. Will has a uh, question here about Marvel cars. I really oh, like yeah. have questions about Marvel cars. What What are your thoughts on Marvel cars and their, um, I guess, the collectability or future growth potential in the market? Influencer bubble, huh? Yeah, I mean, I definitely see that for sure. These, but PMGs, I think everything is an influencer bubble, though, isn't it? Um, because the only thing that you can base a market off for Marvel is is really what everyone's talking about. Yeah. It's not like it's not like sports or, you know, that's the reason why I love UFC so much is because I know this guy is fighting in three weeks or four weeks. If I have to unload it, I can unload it. Right. Or if I want this card while before he becomes a champion, I want to buy it now before they announce his championship fight yeah. uh, with Marvel cards, Pokemon cards. All this is uh, everything that's not a real person that doesn't have a daily um you know, a daily statistic that we can base their value off of it. I think that's the only way to really give its market value is is through everyone's influence. So if, if someone that's hot in the market is saying, I'm buying all these cards and you believe them, um, you know, who's to say he's wrong, right? Maybe he's right. So, yeah. So, but ultimately it goes down to like what my guy, Mark always says from ultimate pastime you know buy what you like what you believe in what and you, like. you can never go wrong you can never go wrong with that and that's both in investing and also in in what's it called in pc right um okay. yeah you're not going to buy a house that you're not going to enjoy living in you know i said it all the time to me it's all about buying what you like and then putting some kind of research in to understand what are you buying yeah and where, where's the price at on that and then you know just understand the market itself before you really jump yeah. in and start making a decision. 